Hello friends, it's Dollar Tree time. You're looking at a little styrofoam airplane. This came in a bag and the pieces were all separate. My son Noah wanted this and he started playing with it as soon as we got home. Um, it was really nice out, it was warm, it was sunny, finally. And he put this together and was playing with this outside. So there's that. Next I found these um, diving toys for the swimming pool. Diving octopus. There's three of them. I've got this little bulb here and this actually isn't what I need. I found out when I got home. <laughs> uh, I have a wax melter that takes a a little light bulb and this is the wrong wattage. I need only a 25 and this is a 40 so I can't use this but it was a buck so I thought oh I'll try it and see if it fits in. It's not gonna work for me but oh well. I found these Twizzlers. They are the orange cream pop. I've never seen these before. My mom just loves licorice and she also loves anything that's like creamsicle, the orange creamsicle. So I picked these up for her. I think I'm going to put them with her Mother's Day stuff. I've got a whole bag of goodies for her. So I'm going to throw them, throw these in with the rest of the stuff. I have been out of hand sanitizer forever, and every time I go somewhere, I forget to pick it up. So I just grabbed this. It was in a whole bucket, and it's got this silly little holder. Nathan just loves the emoji, emoji movie. I thought he would think this was cute, but this is um, cupcake hand sanitizer. Next, I've got this gift bag. I just thought this was so pretty, and I have an aunt on my husband's side of the family that just loves butterflies. She collects butterfly stuff, so if I ever need to give her a gift, I thought this would be perfect to put her stuff inside this gift bag. My son Noah wanted this flag. And next here, I have these little paper cups. I saw this, um, well, Donna Unboxes hauled some of these when she um, did one of her Dollar Tree hauls. And she said what she does with these is she uses them for ice cream. And I just thought that was the cleverest idea. I was like, why don't I do that? Um... We definitely have a problem with portion control in my house, so these are just little cups. I mean, you still could probably put too much ice cream in there, but um, it's not like getting a big, huge bowl out and trying to fill a, a salad bowl or a cereal bowl or something with ice cream. And also, we always snack on ice cream late at night, so then when you go to wash the dishes the next day, the ice cream's all stuck on and... It's all gluey, and so I thought this was a really good idea. So thank you, Donna, from Donna Unboxes. You can just put a small scoop of ice cream in these and then toss them away when you're done. And I was trying to decide which, um, which ones I wanted because they have different stuff on them, and my little guy grabbed these, so probably not what I would have picked the flamingos but he grabbed him and was hanging on to him so it was like ah okay I wanted these anyways we'll go with the flamingos next I found one of these um, magic towels so you put this in the water and it turns into a washcloth it's Paw Patrol so of course they had to get it <laughs> I've just got some tape, nothing exciting. I just never have enough tape around. It's a two pack of scotch tape. I've got one of these bags of the Reese Puff um, cereal. Sometimes my hubby likes taking these to work. Just a tiny bag. Next, I've got some tea bags. My husband drinks a lot of iced tea, and there's like a hundred bags in here, so. The 
then I've got some popcorn. My son Noah is always snacking on popcorn and he's always like extra extra butter. So I found this and I thought we would try it. It says butter lovers. So it's just a small box. There's only three in here. Okay, now lastly, I have four boxes of these Kool-Aid Pops, these freezer, the Freezy Pops. So the reason why I have so many <laughs> is because I always take a box of these to school when we celebrate my son's birthday. Um, his birthday is in August when the kids are out of school because the kids um, go to school from September to uh, late June here where we live. So um, he's not in school during his birthday and they always like to celebrate the kids' birthdays at school. So we kind of have a pretend like the last week of school. Uh, we'll just pretend it's his birthday. And this is what I always bring in. I always bring in a box of Freezy Pops. Because um, it's really hot by then. And the kids are sweaty. And I make cakes. Um, I know how to decorate with piping bags and everything. And it kind of makes me sad. Um, the school has a policy that you can't bring anything in homemade. It has to be store-bought. So... I kind of get sad because I can't make his birthday cake and bring it in. I would have to buy, um, I would have to buy a store-bought cake. And also, this is a very frugal uh, birthday treat to share with the class. Um, you know, th this cost me a dollar. There's 20 in here. There's going to be enough for each kiddo. Um, if, and also, the school doesn't provide, like, the plates and the forks and the napkins. If you did buy a cake, you would also have to buy all that stuff. So, I mean... Buying a store-bought cake, I mean, it's probably like $20 and then to buy all the paper plates and stuff. So it would kind of get expensive. So this is just a buck. And the kids absolutely love these. I do this every single year. <laughs> and this is what I bring in. And the kids just love the freezing, the freezer pops. Like I said, it's hot. They're sweating. And this is a nice treat. Okay. That was a long, uh, windy uh, explanation there, but I don't want you to think my kiddos are going to eat four boxes of freezer pops themselves. So one box actually is for our house, and then the other two boxes, um, I have an aunt on my side of the family and an aunt on my husband's side of the family that have swimming pools. We don't have our own pool, um, and they are very gracious. They let us come swim in whenever we want. And I always buy a box of freezer pops and a box of juice boxes. So one of these will go to the aunt on my husband's side of the family. And one will go to the one on my side of the family. And when they first open up their pool, I take the box of juice boxes, the box of freezer pops. And I tell them to share them with any kiddos that come over and come swim and when they get out of the pool give them a freezy pop and a juice pop juice box and keep them hydrated so that's why I got so four boxes of those so I'm not keeping them that is everything my total came to $17.64 thanks so much for watching take care